First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekal Kadash, and double honors to those great millstone while into his truth, and also to the overlap that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the type of day lesson is, the world is changing. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen to learn. Hope to sweep you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start today, lesson, I got a quick Google search about 5G. And it reads, said, what is 5G actually? It's a type of radiation. And here's why experts say it's safe, really. But let's get a little bit more. He said, you might have started seeing ads for 5G technology or your cell phone might use it already. It's digital cellular technology that promised faster download speeds and fewer delays. But there are some concern that it and the antennas are the what the 5G towers uh, that allow it to function may have negative health uh, consequences. Here's what to know. Let's get a little bit more. <clears throat> so what is 5G actually? The G in 5G stands for generation, the fifth generation of cellular technology to be released following in the footstep of, of 4G, which uh, we've been using for roughly a decade so that's that's all i'm gonna get on this article i have a video to bring it out with more edification more info coming but one thing about it is that we knowing that you know they already had rolled this out uh, uh i think around 2019 it started about around 2017 you know but really they uh, initiated around 2020 so you already know what was going on in 2020 you know you already know we had to wear masks and different things like that also those hokey pokies came into play so we already knowing that you know these things are already have been put in place because of what this what they want what total control and also we already knowing that you know this is uh um uh dealing with your uh wi-fi also it's dealing with your cell phone you know also rumors of a uh, uh, 6G, you know what I'm saying? This, you know, all these things are what put in place, you know, so they can set up their what? Their what? New world order. So we already know it. And also in that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, it uh, had, you know, every now and then, it, it was a frequency was coming through and they was holding their ears. So this pretty much what this talking about. got to be careful on this lesson. But one thing about it is that, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. So one thing about it is going to be dealing with frequencies. Also, it's going to be dealing with that, uh, with those hokey pokies. Also with that uh, RFD, you know what I'm saying, uh, that grain of rice. So all those things going to work hand in hand, you know. So so we know that these things are coming, you know. So we know that it's uh, increased uh, amounts of radiation since uh, since these things have been in, put into place. So they're saying that it's, uh, experts say that it's safe, but we knowing that it's, you know, hey, we're not ignorant of Satan what devices. So we're not a lot of these things coming back, uh, coming coming into play. So so we know that they setting up these uh these antennas, these towers all across America, just about in every neighborhood, uh, around these businesses, and restaurants, school, you know, everywhere you look, they have these uh, towers set up. So why is all these things happen? Because you no, know, they get ready to set up this what? It's gonna work hand in hand with this what? Digital society, this caste society, also with this what? Blockchain system. So they put the system, they putting the the the, the foundation down first. Then they gonna bring it forth. You know, so the last piece is that what? That grain of rice. So hey man, we seeing these things are lining up just like clockwork. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, everything will be online. You know what I'm saying? What? AI, you know what I'm saying, robotics, you know what I'm saying, uh, biometrics, all these things are going to come into play. But this was the first uh, step. They almost at the day, well, they have finished it. They they about to uh, complete it. It's just one more thing they got to bring forth. And out of the body, you know, then it would bring forth what? Total control, order out of chaos. That's what they're waiting on. So we've seen in that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it, but it's, <clears throat> it's got a lot of 
uh, biblical prophecies in that movie. So they showing you things right in your face. You know what I'm saying? Putting it in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, they hate, man. He, you know, he, you know, it's it's not gonna be any more games, say, uh, says, or uh, uh, what you call conspiracy theory. Hey, man, the truth is 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 coming out. You know, uh, everything that was hidden in the dark is coming to coming to light. So we see it. These things are happening left and right. So we already know all roads lead to that what that sea here, and also to what total control. So we seeing this everywhere we look. You know what I'm saying? Wi-Fi, you know, Wi-Fi radi radiation, and also they said 5G. You know, <clears throat> reports that it will cause cancer, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, loss of memory, a uh, uh, loss of sleep. Uh, uh, man, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of things that they're uh, bringing for, you know, just like I said, to make you a what a walking device. You must take it under your skin. And that about so a lot of things that they put in place to make this uh, system work, you know, the way they want it to work. So we're seeing that now that we're here. So, so these things are already in place. We know <clears throat> we're coming upon this perilous time. We know that, you know, uh, the end is being manifest right before our eyes. So a lot of things are coming down the pipeline in the middle of the world. We're constantly what, warning you left and right. And also we know that, hey, man, we're very close. You know, we're very close. Our salvation is very close than we yet believe. In the middle of the world, hey, man, we're working overtime. We know that the famine of the world is coming. It's already rumors of what? A cyber attacks all across the world. Also rumors of war. Hey, man, these things going to constantly what? Keep picking up. Until the what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's get a uh, quick precept before we open up the, uh, the day's video. Let's go here. Let's go here to 2nd uh, second, uh, second, uh, Ezra chapter 9 <clears throat> and verse 20. And it reads that, So I considered the world, and, and be, behold, there were perils because of the devices that were come into it. Let's read that again. Uh, Second Ezra chapter nine and verse twenty. So I considered the world, and behold, there was perils because of the vices that were come into it. So one thing about it, you know, when you go into that word "peril," that means dangers, or, or what, or some type of uncertainty, or what, or some type of threat that came into the world. What you know, this you know, this five G, what these towers, you know, also this uh. We get ready to come into this what digital society. Also, we get ready to come into that what that grain of rice. Also, what a time of trouble that we have never seen before. Jacob's trouble. So you know that's where you know what had came into the world. What all the devices you already know. You know what I'm saying? That M O T B. You know what I'm saying? Also, there's what these digital IDs, uh, these uh, face recognition. A lot of things. This what technology. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we uh, what 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 had came into the world. And also, we knowing that uh. It's going to get worse and worse. We're seeing that the Eva has been sown. So, uh, man, we, we, hey, man, we're here, man. So all these movies that's coming out, also another movie uh, about, uh, I think I seen a, a, a preview of it was called Civil War. So that's a hey, order out of chaos. So, you know, we already know that they have these sleeper cells in place. All things are ready. The world is changing right before our, our faith. We're seeing that what the vibration is changing. We're seeing that things are happening at a fast pace. While all these things are happening, the Lord is calling these things to happen because he's getting ready to what? To bring forth another uh, 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 another eon, you know what I'm saying? He's ushering it in, you know what I'm saying? We coming at the end of this temple world. We get ready to usher into what the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we seeing that we're very close. So we seeing that these perils that came in the world, these what dangers, these what these threats, these what uncertainties, you know what I'm saying? This desperation, you know, the beginning of sorrow. So we seeing a lot of things are happening, you know what I'm saying? We seeing that the world is very dark. We seeing that the the world is very vile right now, and the Lord's getting ready to purge it out. The Lord's getting ready to cleanse this place with that what that fervent heat, the indignation. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua. So we are very close. So, you know, the world is constantly changing all around. So they just bringing it out in the movies. They're not hiding a damn thing anymore. Because one thing about it is that, hey, you know, we know that what the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. God, he's seeing that his time is short. And out about we're at the end of what Esau kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And at the beginning of what Jacob. Jacob is what that follows, the world without end, the kingdom of heaven. It's fast approach. And one thing about it, also we read upon what? Judgment. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, first my judgment would start at the house of Israel. And one thing about it, either you were here or either you will forbear. So the title of today's lesson, 
once again, is the world is changing. So I have a few short videos. And after the videos, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. So these 5G towers are popping up all over the place. And that's a problem because 5G is a form of EMF that have been proven to cause oxidative stress in the body. Electromagnetic fields can contribute to things like headaches, brain fog, fatigue, irritability, trouble sleeping. I know you guys struggle with sleep. And even more serious conditions like cancer, Alzheimer's, and it's even been linked to autism. So here are some things that you can do to protect yourself from EMFs. Uh, number one, that's why it works. But they've done a very good job at using the quarantine to bring 5G into all of our communities and to begin the process of shifting us all to a digital currency, which is the beginning of slavery. Because if they control your bank account, they control your behavior. And we all see these advertisements saying 5G is coming to your community. It's going to make all of your lives so much better. And it's very convincing, I have to say. This is a game changer. Because I look at those ads and I think, that's great. I can hardly wait till it gets here. Because I'm going to be able to download a video game in six seconds instead of 16 seconds. And is that why they're spending $5 trillion on 5G? No. The reason is for surveillance and data harvesting. It's not for you and me. It's for Bill Gates. It's for Zuckerberg. And it's for Bezos and all of the other billionaires. Bill Gates says that his satellite fleet will be able to look at every square inch of the planet 24 hours a day. But that's only the beginning. He also will be able to follow you on all of your smart devices, through biometric facial recognition, through your GPS, you think that Alexa is working for you. She isn't working for you. She's working for Bill Gates spying on you. And the pandemic is a crisis of convenience for the elites who are dictating these policies. It gives them the ability to obliterate the middle class to destroy the institutions of democracy, to shift all of our wealth from all of us to a handful of billionaires to make... radiation is uh, it does all kinds of bad things including causing cancer Wi-Fi radiation causes yeah cancer. from your cell phone I mean their cell phone tuner tumors you know that I mean I'm representing hundreds of people who have cell phone tumors behind the ear it's always on the ear that you favor with your cell phone oh um, and you know we have the science so if anybody lets us in front of a jury they it will be over you know, we, so what is the, what is the number? Because a lot of people use there's a lot of people with it. They're, they're glioblastomas. That's the kind of cancers that they get. But cancer's not the worst thing. They also, you know, it opens up. I find ra radiation opens up your blood brain barrier. So you see, you know, as you see that, hey, it's it's right in front of your face. You know, hey, man. One thing about it, that you know, 
hey man, it, they not hiding no more. You know, you know things are, is 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 playing upon tables right now. You know, hey man, it's right in your face. So a lot of uh, people right now, you know, they still a dots out, they still asleep. But hey man, these things are constantly pumping out. They putting it in the movies, in videos, everywhere you look, it's everywhere. So one thing about it, it's in plain sight. It's you know, hey, it's no you know no more vain div uh, divination. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's clear, it's obvious that we're here. We're living in the end time, real time. So now let's start today's lesson. We'll, we'll jump back to uh, secondary chapter nine. We'll jump at the top at verse one. And it reads, really he answered me then, then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, that's what we're doing. We measure uh, we measure the, uh, 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 the, the, the time uh, diligently you what through the scripture. So we see in the scriptures are lining up just like clock where at the end it shall speak and not lie. It's not tearing anymore. Verse two, it said, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord is visiting the earth that he, he created. We're seeing all these things happening all around the world simultaneously, and they're going to constantly increase to the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse three said, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Verse four, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Verse five, for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. So the end is, is clear right now. Everyone pretty much know, you know what I'm saying? That we're in the end time. We're saying that, hey man, all these things are constantly happening all around the world. Global events. We're seeing it in the movie. We're seeing it in the video. We're seeing the men of the Lord in the highways and the byways. Hey man, one thing about is that, hey man, you will be well warned. Lord send the prophets. You know, then he bring forth the what? The judgment. You know, so, so we're very close to the judgment. So many shall be taken in a great number because of what? The devices that came into the world and also what? Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem So the Lord, he's in perfect control. So we see it right now, you know, the earthquake. We see uproars of people. What? In that other movie, what? Civil what? Unrest. Civil war. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want. Sedition among men. Insurrection. All these things is going, going to happen. You know, order out of chaos. They're going to bring forth uh, the chaos and bring forth that solution. What's that solution? Total control. New world order. You know what I'm saying? That's what they coming for. This cashless society, this digital society. It's going to work hand in hand with that what? With the hokey pokies, the, with the 5G hokey pokey, and the what? With that what? That grain of rice. So, hey, man, we're seeing it. You know, it's obvious. It's clear that we're here, man. Hey, man, we'll rejoice. We're at the end of this thing. So now, let's go here to our uh, Psalms. Let's go here to Psalm chapter 17. <clears throat> Psalm chapter 17. Psalm chapter 17. We'll start up at verse, verse 7. Psalm chapter 17 and verse 7. <clears throat> and, it, and it reads, it says, Show thy uh, marvelous uh, loving kindness, O thou that uh, savest by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee, uh, from those that rise up against them. Verse 8 said, keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Verse 9 said, for the wicked that oppress me are from my uh, deadly enemies whom compass me about. You know, so we already know that, hey, man, <clears throat> the enemy get ready to strike. But when they strike, the Lord is what going to strike right back. So we're asking the Lord for what protection. You know, the Lord said, you know, say he will deliver us. He will sustain us when these times of trouble come. You know, when the enemy coming like the flood, the Lord's going to lift up that standard, a way to escape. So we, we, we will be in the what? The secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. You know, hey, man, we don't have the spirit of fear. Verse 10, it says, they, they all are enclosed in their own fat or with their mouth. They speak proudly. Who is that? The so-called white man. And I about he's living what fat off the hall. And he's walking in great pride. He's speaking what great words against what? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Only for a short season. The Lord's getting ready to bring him low, very low. Verse 11. <clears throat> and he reads that they, they have now compassed us in our step. They have set their eyes uh, bowing down to the earth. Verse 12. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey. And has it, it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Verse 13 said, Arise, O Lord, 
disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy soul. And not everybody's talking about the, what the modern day so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? The devil that the Bible speaks of. And not everybody, we already know him. that sword goes into his what? Technology. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's been robbing and stealing and killing, taking over everything, but only for a short season. And not about his reign of terror is almost over. So you already know it. He got everything in place. The stage is set. All things is ready. But the Lord's getting ready to cut him off forever. Hey, man, we cannot wait. So now let's go here. And one thing about it, all we got to do is constantly what? Trust and believe in Yahweh, Bashim al Shah. We're seeing that the world is changing, but it's changing for what? For the good, you know what I'm saying? For what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in rights. Hey, man, that transition to power is taking place right before our eyes, man. Hey, man, it's changing for the good, and we cannot wait. Hey, man. Hey, man, how long, O oh Lord? So now, let's go here to uh, <clears throat> uh, Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah chapter 32, and. Uh, we start up at verse 5. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 5. <clears throat> and it reads, said, The vile person shall be uh, no more called liberal, nor the churl uh, said to be a bount bountiful. Verse 6 said, For the vile person will speak vainly, and his heart will work iniquity to practice uh, hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the souls of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fall, to fail, Salaki. Verse seven said, the instrument also of the churl, who is that churl? Are evil. That's talking about the, what the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor. Who is the poor? Israel. With lying words, even when the needy speaketh uh, speak is right. So one thing about it, you know, who's speaking uprightly? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, that is what the men of the law, you know, sign and crying left and right. We constantly what? Cutting this devil to pieces through the word. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about it, that vain person, you know, talking about once again, Esau eat him. So one thing about it, we knowing that he will not be able to uh, devise his agenda, his plan, his plot. We're seeing that it's happening. It's at work right now. So any given time, you know, all hell can break loose. Any given time, you know what I'm saying? Hey, things can be set off. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing about it, that it's going to get worse and worse. It's no uh, going back to a sense of normalcy. So a lot of people right now, you know, they want the normalcy. They want to be uh, constantly comfortable. But one thing about it, you get ready to be uncomfortable. You get ready to be uh, with a what all sorts of uncertainty, all sorts of despair, fear, sorrow death and destruction and also persecution as fast approaching so man we're here so let's read verse uh, let's start at verse six uh let's read verse seven again so like and he reads said the instruments also of the sheriff are evil he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaketh Right. So one thing about it, say, hey man, we seeing it. It's happening right before our play, you know. So so one thing about it is that, you know, uh that movie uh uh Leave It the World Behind, also Civil War, those are game changers. You know, these are what warning sign. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is sending out the warning. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, hey, we're keeping not silent. You know what I'm saying? We constantly, we're going to constantly what, walk in the paths of righteousness. You know, your faith is getting ready to be tried. You know what I'm saying? Hey, great persecution. Great tribulation is befalling. It's coming at a fast pace. Hey, Amen. The world is changing. So now, let's go here to uh, uh, Second Arrows chapter 4. No, let's get a quick precept. Let's go here to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter... What is that? Proverbs, I think it's Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6, if I'm not mistaken. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 12, if I'm not mistaken. Proverbs chapter uh, 6 and verse 12. And it reads, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. Verse 13, he winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teaches with his fingers. Verse 4 said, uh, forward, forwardness in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He sows discord. Who is that? So-called white man. Verse uh, 15 said, therefore, Shall his calamity come suddenly? Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. So suddenly, 
the wrath of the Lord will come upon him. You know, the Lord is getting ready to cut him off forever. Even though right now, you know, he's getting ready what to fill his belly. You know, get ready to fill his what? His plan, his plot, his agenda. You know what I'm saying? The secret council, you know, he's he getting ready to bring it to pass. He's imagining what? A vain thing, something that is what? Uh, of no value. It won't be no any good for him because one thing about it, he's getting ready to go into slavery very soon. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. The world is changing and we cannot wait. Hey, man, the Lord is doing a mighty work. So let's go here to uh, second, uh, second area chapter four, second area chapter four. And uh, we start up at verse 20, 27, I believe. 27. No, it's 28. So like it. Second Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28 said, But as concerning the things of whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. But one thing about it is that we're seeing that the evil is sown. We're seeing all these things that's happening, you know. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, these rumors of war. We're seeing all these sorts of different calamities and catastrophes all around the world. We're seeing that they, they what, they're setting up this, what, digital society, this cashless society. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, it's going to work hand in hand with this, what, 5G blockchain uh, technology. We're seeing it's coming into play. Also, it's going to work hand in hand with that, what, grain of rice and also these hokey pokes. So, so a lot of things are coming into play. So when the evil is sown and also what Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, all these things got to come right before what the great and glorious return of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh also what the kingdom of heaven that dwells in rice, even though that will sound like a broken record, but these are the time that we're living in. Not about the Lord say, hey man, Keep not silent. Warn them for me. That's what we're doing. And I, we want to seal the elect and we're ready to get the hell out of here. If you're not ready to rule, you're getting ready to die. If you love it here, you get ready to die. You know, if you're not getting beamed up, you're getting ready to die. And I was playing this up. Everyone is standing in the lot. And one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. We are rejoiced. We cannot wait. The Lord is getting ready to return with what? With great glory, great power. Woo, we cannot wait, man. We cannot wait. So let's read that again. Second Ezra chapter four and verse 28 said, but as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. One thing about the Lord said, what through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So I didn't buy it. You get ready to go through hell to get to the what? The kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. Hey, Amen. So it's light at the end of the tunnel. One thing about it, hey, man, the Lord is going to be with us. He's going to protect us. And one thing about it, hey, man, you getting ready to be, get get ready to be tried as gold is tried in the fire. And about it, you getting ready to be found worthy of the kingdom of heaven. Woo, man, we hey, we're very close. Verse 29 said, If if there, therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown in good, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven. That's what's sown in good. And this place is turned upside down. This is the land of what confusion and what disorder, all sorts of what sexual immorality, all sorts of abomination, all sorts of things that is what displeasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. The Lord said his eyes is upon the what? The sinful kingdom. What is that sinful kingdom? America, Babylon the Great. And I just play, this place is upside down. You know what I'm saying? A man can marry a man. A woman can marry a woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, you can even marry a animal. You know, beast analogy, all sorts of things. Do thy will, spirit. The Lord's getting ready what, to set the record straight. The Lord's getting ready to turn it right back size up. He get ready to accept that righteous all as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. Hey man, that's what we're waiting on. We loan it for it each and every day. And one thing about it, the two third, you know, they are they are degenerate. You know, they are perverse. You know what I'm saying? They love oppression. They love the uh, slave mass. They love white man Jesus. And I about it, and one thing about it, they love what's right in front of their face. Well, guess what? It's getting ready to be all destroyed. It's getting ready to be a lake of fire. And we constantly warn you left and right, that second death, they shall know it. Death after pain. One thing about it, hey man, we're here, it is at the door. Let's read this once again. Second Ezra chapter four and verse 29 says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evils 
uh, if sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So one thing about it is that we got to go through this great tribulation period that we have never seen before to get to the what? That what is what? Sown in good. The kingdom of heaven. Hey, man, it's, it's, it's right in front of our eyes. Keep the path. Keep believing. Keep striving. You know, keep the faith. And the Lord's going to do the rest. Hey, man, we cannot wait. So now let's go here to Matthew chapter uh, 24. Don't mean to be rambling. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21. <clears throat> and it reads, said, For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Verse 22, And except those days should be short, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. So one thing about it is that the Lord is going to have to intervene on the behalf of what the elect, the true believers of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Abishai, the what? The house of David, the one that was preordained from the beginning. You know, that to get this, the Lord is coming back for those what ancient spirit. And one thing about it, he already know that this man get ready to use this uh 5G, the 6G uh, blockchain technology, also that what? These all sorts of weaponry he's getting ready to use. This uh, pseudo sign, this AI, robotics, you know, it's all these different things he's getting ready to come down the pipeline with. These what? Lying wonders. And the Lord's getting ready to what? To cut him off. He will not be able to perform his enterprise. It's going to be a time that we have never seen before. The world is changing right before our eyes. We're very excited. Man, we're ready for this place to what? To end. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about it, that's when we're going to start living. We're going to get out of this hell hole. You know what I'm saying? Get back in our first state. You know, immortality, rulership, spiritual power. You know, dominion, the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? The one, the one that, that endure, he will give you what? Power over the nation. Man, we cannot wait. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. So now, let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to uh uh 1 Peter chapter 4. We'll close out here. Just a very quick lesson, straight to the point. Uh 1 Peter. One moment. 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter chapter 4. One moment. First Peter chapter four and verse seven. We close out here. <clears throat> and it reads said, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And not about sober mean having a what a stable mind. You know, have a what a sober mind. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that, you know, the Lord is going to protect us. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is, is, is going to what? To deliver us. And also, we always got to be what? Watching. Be vigilant. You know what I'm saying? Because what? We're living in what? An uh, evil time. Redeem the time wise. Be circumspect. Because, hey, man, we seeing that, hey, man, the devil is getting ready to prounce. But when he prounce, the Lord is going to prounce right back. And also, what? Pray without ceasing. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord to have mercy upon you. Ask the Lord to provide for you. Ask the Lord to direct direct you. Ask the Lord to increase you with faith. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, guide me, Lord. Help me. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, hey, man, the Lord is with us even to the what? The ends of the world. And not about through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh. Let's read this once again. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. He said, but the end of all things is at hand. But but ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Pray without cease. Watching, praying. You know what I'm saying? Be humble. You know what I'm saying? Constantly. You know what I'm saying? Ask the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Brakatha Yahweh. Brakatha Yahweh Shah. The water. Yahweh Bashim Shah. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. And out about, we fear the Lord. We love the Lord. And the Lord is getting ready to do the rest. And out about, hey, man. We letting the Lord direct our step. We seeing right now the Lord is doing a mighty work, and the Lord's getting ready to return and set everything back into order. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is the world is changing. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say Shalom, Shalom.